Well, I talked about it in the preview video for this week's game that this was the beginning of a stretch of schedule for the Bears where they had to feast. This is that stretch the next few weeks that if they pounce upon it and they take advantage of it, while the second half of the season the schedule gets really tough, they're giving themselves a chance. But you can't keep looking ahead. You got to take care of the business in front of you first. And that's exactly what the Bears did today. Now, I don't know about anybody else, but when we saw the first couple of drives of the game, the Panthers start off with the ball, the Bears immediately force a three and out, and then the Bears offense comes out and immediately goes three and out. And you're sitting there thinking to yourself, you know it, you love it. Bears football is going to be a foot all day. And you're like, oh my God, this is going to be ugly. It, it can't be. The Panthers are a disaster on offense or a disaster even more so on defense. Just no, can't be that way. And then they let the Panthers score first. Chuba Hubbard with the 38-yard touchdown run. You're saying, what the hell's going on here? Well, thankfully, reality started to manifest pretty quickly. And the Bears did exactly what you expect them to do today. They went out there and they handled business and they pounded the Panthers' pussies all game long. And doesn't it feel good? Now, I know you're going to have those Dougie Downers that are going to say, well, it was against the Panthers, so it doesn't mean much. Or they, they needed to do this. Yeah, you're right. The Panthers stink. And the Bears should have blown them out today. But you know what? I will give credit for this. They blew them out today. That's something especially for an Eber, Eberflush coach team with a tendency to kind of take the foot off the gas a little bit and play it safe. They, at least to some degree in the second half, even with the big lead, were at least trying to still score points. And they freaking scored 36 points on offense today. I'm going to fucking take it. Lots of positives here. Lots of promising signs. You know, good performances. Still some things they've obviously got to work on, right? First, of course, we're going to talk about Caleb Williams. His second game of the season already through five games. This is an unfamiliar feeling, Bears fans. I understand. It is legal for NFL starting quarterbacks to throw for over 300 yards, up to and including in a Chicago Bears uniform, and Caleb Williams just did it again. As much as I talked about last week, I thought, even though statistically it didn't technically look like his best start of the season, but it was... Man, this was a whole nother level today. You could talk about it was against Carolina. Who gives a shit? He went out there against a crappy defense, and he ate well. He did what he was supposed to do. This is a type of confidence-building performance for a young quarterback. He went 20 of 29 for 304 yards, two touchdown passes. Like, what are we complaining about here? And in particular, look at that touchdown pass to DJ Moore. What was great about that was... Not just the great throw and placement on the deep post by Caleb Williams, the catch by DJ Moore. It was the fact that he did it within structure and he worked off of his first read to come across the field to find that throw, to then make that throw. Fantastic stuff. He took care of the football. You know, he showed some improv, being able to escape the pocket. Like, outstanding and used his feet at times when he needed to at five carries for 34 yards you know extended a couple of drives by picking up first downs when you're looking for signs that you've got the guy at quarterback these performances today for a rookie in his fifth game in the national football league should help you take stock that by god things might finally be changing for the fucking chicago bears they just might Let's not look the gift horse in the mouth right now. Bad defense that he faced, who gives a shit? He still had to go out there and do it. And we've seen numerous times over the years where any number of Bears quarterbacks, young or experienced, go up against crappy defenses and play like dog shit. Caleb went out there and put up the type of performance you would expect a star quarterback to put up against a crappy defense. That simple. DeAndre Swift with his second great positive game. For all this talk the first three weeks, about why do you keep trying to force him, try to keep making him a fucking thing? Well, look at what they're doing. They're running him in different ways. They're getting him involved in the passing game. Had 120 combined yards, um, a touchdown, got robbed <laughs> at the goal line for one of his touchdowns. Side note, 
you're not sweetness. Stop trying to jump the pile. You almost got Alabama slammed into oblivion. That's all I'm going to say there. But when you're looking for other positive signs, you've got to go with that, right? DJ Moore, great game. Although I'm going to give him a little shit for dropping that wide open pass in the fourth quarter. Is he had nobody around him within like 10 yards. That should have been the play that put Caleb Williams over 300 yards, and that could have been a big play for that offense even at that point. But throw to DJ Moore, great things can happen. Five catches, 105 yards, two touchdowns. Yeah, some great things fucking happen today throwing him the ball. Got Roma Dunze a little, Dunze a little bit more involved in the passing game. Five catches, 40 yards. You know, positive signs here. Cole Komet had over 50 yards receiving, like, you see Caleb Williams was going to different spots in the field, targeting different guys. Really, really good to see the offensive line held up a little bit better today, both in run protection, in pass protection. Not perfect by any stretch of the imagination, but it was certainly better. You look at the defensive side of the ball, you know, what more can you say? They forced three turnovers, four sacks, held the Panthers to 10 points. Jervon Dexter, one of those right place, right time type of situations. He got in on a couple of sacks. I think he ended up one sack with a couple of half sacks mixed in. Austin Booker got his first NFL sack, if I'm not mistaken. Like some real positives there. Andrew Billings got a sack. What a bonus performance. Uh, but the forcing of the turnovers, not allowing the Panthers after that early Chuba Hubbard touchdown run to get any other momentum on offense. Uh, and some really, really good signs there, right? Kevin Byard with that spectacular interception. Lots of good stuff. You love to see it there. But, you know, still work to go. You could both be happy about the win and understand that week five does not a season make. One blowout performance, blowout win against a shitty opponent does not mean you rest on your laurels and get satisfied. You can't let Chuba Hubbard run for almost 100 yards. That can't happen. This run defense has to get better. You look at the end of the first half and you see Brisker, who made some other nice plays in this game, obviously, and is having himself a nice season, especially the last past couple of weeks. You know, he had his best bareback Jackson impression. I don't want to start calling him bareback Brisker. Like, yeah, on the one hand, you're forcing a fumble, but then on the other hand, right before the end of the first half, right after you scored the touchdown, you're letting the Panthers go down the field and your failure to wrap up on the tackle, you're trying to go for the big hit, allows the Panthers receiver to get like another 15, 20 yards, puts them in field goal position. Of course, they missed Pinera, missed the kick. But those are the types of things that against better opponents, you can't have happen. You just can't. And they're going to have to work on that, right? Like, those are the types of things you still got to work on. They got to work on that run defense. They got to figure out how that's got to get a little bit better. Um, but it's really hard to criticize too much about the performance. It was just fun, wasn't it? For a fan base that is so used to pathetically boring ass Bears football and trying to struggle your asses to a victory, you almost got bored in a different way, but it felt so good because this game wasn't in doubt. For most of it. Like once the Bears got the lead, you're like, there's no way they're giving this up. And they kept putting up points. They kept putting up points. Caleb in the passing game looked really good. The running game was going at least a little bit. You're feeling really good about it to where you're almost bored of like, let's just hurry up and get this game over. It's done. It's finite. The Bears are now three and two. That's a good feeling to have. You want those types of feelings. Better than being on the other side and being a Panthers fan. In which I will say this. For the Panthers. You got your ass kicked today with Andy Dalton as your starting quarterback. At worst, you would have gotten your ass kicked with Bryce Young as your starting quarterback. You're one in four. Stop being fucking stupid. You're not going anywhere with Andy Dalton as your starting quarterback. All you're doing is robbing Bryce Young of precious rest. And he came in late in the game. He should have been in earlier in this fucking game, frankly. And he made a couple of plays. Now, granted, the Bears at that point had probably taken the foot off the gas a little bit on defense. But... Still, like, you should have given him the opportunity to start today. He needs to be starting going forward. There is no good defense for continuing to start Andy Dalton. There was no good defense to start him to begin with. All you're doing is fucking around and wasting time. That's it. It's that simple. But if you're a Panthers fan right now, you got to feel bad because you, you think your number one overall pick quarterback from last year, Bryce Young, is a disaster. Your defense is certainly a disaster. And everything on this offense, for the most part, that isn't Chuba Hubbard is pretty much a disaster. Maybe your, the big money you spent on the guards has paid off. I'll, I'll give you that. But that's a bad unit. Yeah, you have injuries. Derek Brown's out for the year. Shaq Thompson's out for the year. Josie Jewell's out. 
And you had other guys go down during this game. They're like, bad things just keep piling on and getting worse for the Panthers. Keep pounding to that top pick, baby. The Bears want that second round pick as high as possible, damn it. And the Bears did their part today to help make that happen. You know, now you look at this team and you say, okay, Keenan Allen, three catches, 33 yards. How much do you really need him in this offense? And you wonder if it's time to go give Kansas City a call and see if he could possibly recoup like a fourth round pick and trade him away. Like, do you really need him? Just saying. Um... That's a good spot to be in, right? And the Bears, most importantly of all, credit to them. They should have come into this game and won easily and comfortably. They did. They did. Now they're going to go early in the week over to London, get themselves acclimated. Big game against the Jags. It's the type of game they need to win. If you want to make the playoffs this year, you got to go forth and win that one. And then you've got two weeks to prepare for your next game. Meanwhile... You're facing a Jags team whose defense also stinks. Like what we saw today offensively, they were moving Caleb more. You know, they were attacking downfield more in the passing game. They were doing different things in the running game. We need to see more of that. Should have another big offensive performance against the Jags and their crappy defense. And if you don't, there's a problem. So this is a good win. There's nothing to sit there and get two giggly tits about because it is only one win, but it is nice to enjoy most importantly of all, among anything else, and above anything else, is that the Chicago Bears have their quarterback. They have him. He went for 300 yards for the second time in five games. And he looked good doing it today, folks. The wins are nice, but the number one goal of the program this year is for Caleb Williams to show that he's a guy. He's showing... He's that guy. It's time to buckle up, Bears fans, because it's going to be a hell of a different and fun ride than you've ever experienced in your fucking lifetime. Yeah, bear down, bitches. And as far as the Panthers, <laughs> keep pounding towards that top pick, you son.